Hello everyone and welcome back to Cookie Run Oven Break with Altroy Calcone. And in this episode, I'm going to show you a quote unquote brand new game mode called the Trophy Survival Mode. So the idea of this particular game mode, it combines two game modes that has already been in the game. The first one is obviously Trophy Race, a game that you probably known and tried and failed so many times because you crashed into unnecessary things. <laughs> and the second one is actually a much lesser uh, well-known game mode called the Life Challenges. And I've actually covered Life Challenges way, way back. I think it was one, two years ago. Anyway, if you are interested in that particular game mode, then the video will be available for you at the top right of the screen. So let's get back into the video. So the idea of this particular game mode, it is combining those two best features, which is the competitive. Oh my god, that is bad. That is really bad. I didn't pick up the giant uh, booster, whatever that name it was. <laughs> Yeah, that's the one thing that you should avoid is making silly mistakes like that. And that will not be the only time that I created those silly mistakes. And some of these silly mistakes that I did really does bring devastating consequences. So yes, uh, where was I earlier? Oh yes, combining the two best features in the trophy phase and also the life challenges. So this game mode combines the two best features, in my opinion, about the trophy race and the life challenges. So the best feature in trophy race, which is the competitiveness and the life challenges, which is the time that you take to compete is very, very short indeed. And by the way, this should have been my first ever victory. Well, what a terrible start indeed for this particular video. <laughs> Maybe second time is the actual charm, and let's see what kind of stages that I actually get. Oh, uh, by the way, this is the very first time I played this particular game mode in this particular season. And it seems that we are using Herb Cookie once again, but on a completely different stage. It looks like, oh yes, this is the stage 2 of the Wonder Crab. And yeah, the mission get points, we already did that, so let's see if we can claim our first ever victory in this particular match. But now I'm going to explain how the game mechanic works. So the idea is we start a match and then let the game find the opponents that we are going to fight in the particular challenge. And the game will choose what kind of challenge that we will face. So the, each challenge has their own sets of cookies, pads, and also treasures. Which is kind of a good news, bad news situation, but mostly it is all good news for me. Not so good news, it's for the new players who are, you know, still leveling up the cookies and they have a lot and lots of different cookies that they need to level up. And then this mode comes around, and yeah, I'm pretty sure that things for them are not going very well because there are so many cookies that they have and they have to level it up all together which is the main goal of this game. Now let's see if it is possible to finally, for me at least, to grab my very first victory and the results are coming in and there you go, I am at first place. And now let's see if I could maintain this victory in the next match. Anyway, if you like this kind of content then be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell so you won't miss out anything that I put on this channel. Everything is free, you don't need to pay and by subscribing you make this channel grow and flourish even more. This makes me happy so I can create more content for you to watch. And for those of you who actually pay attention to the screen might realize that something huge has just happened. So what happened was that I got promoted. Now, I do not want to explain this particular game mechanic in this game mode in a really technical way to the point you become busy. So I'm going to tell you the essential bit. So every time you got promoted, the effect of the hot fighting jellies are getting bigger and that also applies to the speed and also the points that you gather. And that also increases the difficulty 
What I meant is the chances of you getting hit by purple yam cookies mates are also getting higher simply because the requirements of getting hit by purple yam cookies mates are also getting higher which is the worst thing that could possibly happen to you and if that happens enough times to you then purple yam cookie will eventually grow your trophies and you have to wait for another 22 hours to finally play this game mode again so that's why if you read the title of this particular video it is called run and fight until i drop so my goal in this video is really simple i kept running i kept gaining and i will fight against everyone who came in my path and i will keep fighting until purple yam cookie managed to destroy the trophy that i currently have so how do you exactly getting promoted in this particular game mode well the answer is very simple all you need to do is not end up in a place where purple yam cookie will hit you with his mace at first it is going to be the last place player for context it is going to be the sixth best player so right at the very last place and the criteria will go up and up until you need to be on the podium spot which means that you either have to be at first second or third to avoid purple yams dangerous maze oh yeah there is a very important thing that you need to remember about this particular game mode and that is the heart system so for every start of trophy survival run you will are given three hearts and that is the maximum amount of hearts that you ever get if you ended up getting hit by purple yam cookies maze then you will lose one heart and the way you get the heart back is if you actually manage to get promoted however if you lose three hearts then the trophy that you currently own will get destroyed and the gold gems that you collect throughout the entire run will be given to you and you have to wait 22 hours in order to play this particular game mode yet again wait i have to say this thing before haven't i oh yes did you know that there is a maximum amount of gold gems that you could get within a week so the magic number that every player is looking upon is 7000 gold gems which is the highest amount that you can actually get in one week of trophy survival and there are according to my list two more things that i need to talk about before i can conclude that i cover every single thing that you need to know about this particular game mode so the first one is the ranking of these trophies and there are five of them the first one which you start with is beginner trophy then you move on into intermediate expert conqueror and last but not least the most prestigious trophy out of them all the legendary trophy and last but not least this is something that you really do need to pay attention to is the players who are using the max boost so mostly these players are low level players but that doesn't mean you should take them not seriously because thanks to the max boost they have this exact same level as i did at least in the terms of cookies pass and presents which is going to be in effect for the rest of the run assuming that they don't end up getting hit by purple yam cookies face but you know what is the saddest thing at least in my experience playing this particular game mode it is the simple fact that i will never ever use the max boost ever not because i don't have max boost far from it i actually have the maximum amount of the max boost you can have in this particular game mode which is five but the thing is though because i am an old player i've actually managed to maximize every single cookies that are going to be used in this particular game mode and also the patch and also the treasures and that's all the basic things covered and if you would like to ask anything then let me know in the comment section down below so now i'm going to talk about my experience playing this particular game mode by the way disclaimer your mileage may vary 
So what are my experience playing this particular game mode? Well, at first it started decently until a couple of days ago where I get a very infamous bug that has been talked in the community since this game came into being after so many months of not inside the game itself. <laughs> you probably know what I'm talking about. And yes, I've seen it and yes, I do manage to screenshot it, so here it is. I have no idea what causes this bug, and apparently it is related to the internet connection that I have, which is nonsense because every time I play this particular game mode, the internet connection has always been fine. So yeah, dev system, please fix. Oh great, I'm playing a stage that is completely brand new to me. Oh god, this is really really bad. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Yeah, let's just make sure that I do not end up in 5th or 6th place, which is the second to last place and also the last place for this particular trophy survival run. And one thing that I still do not understand in this particular trophy survival demo it is how the hot chili pepper was. Apparently it is based on randomness, I guess. I've seen people who are like, there are so much differences in the scoring and it's so unbelievable that the level of this complete differentness. I've seen 10 million difference in score points where the fact that this run only lasts for like, I don't know, like a minute or so. And I also experience uh, some people actually run within more than a minute actually. <laughs> sometimes they run up to like 1 minute and 5 seconds and sometimes I also see with some people also run at 1 minute 6 seconds so yeah that really does make a difference. And by the way that was a terrible terrible run. <laughs> Thank goodness I'm still in 4th place, not in the 2nd to last place and also the last place because I will certainly lose my heart, one of my 3 hearts, I need to keep that alive though. And especially the fact that things are not going to be easier the higher you go. And coming right up is this run. This run really made me convinced that the piping hot jellies game mechanic or I always like to call it the game booster mechanic on the Tropic Survival is really really random. So I'm running with 3 cookies here in the cookies tile stage and yeah let's just see what I'm actually talking about here. I've rewatched this particular part of the video like numerous times and I still couldn't figure out how this result is even possible. And to add insult to injury, this is also a brand new map that I have never ever run before. <laughs> so yeah, coming right up after this video, it is going to be a team fight video with a guest. And if you ever play this particular game, uh, you will know this guy because this guy needs no introduction whatsoever. And right after that, I'm going to complete all the remaining episodes in the Motorsport Manager, at least the part where I still have some of these in my archive before going back into Cookie Gun Oven Break and doing an updated run of the Dragon's Battlefield, because that has been updated and have more stages. So yeah, the run is done and I'm pretty sure at the time I'm feeling confident that I get everything right. I didn't do any single mistake whatsoever. And when I see this result for the very first time, I was like, how? How could this happen? How everyone in the first, second and third got more than 118 million points? How? I have no idea still to this very day. I have no idea how is that even possible. I will guess that they got a better placement for the hot chili piping mechanic. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess it's pretty much random at this point. <laughs> at least that's my hypothesis anyway. With that out of the way, I pretty much covered everything that you need to know about this particular game mode. And it looks like that I'm actually running in the same stage that I used to run a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> so one final thing that I forgot to mention about the game mechanics is the fact that you cannot 
use the street by yourself, the game does that for you. But fortunately, there are very limited options when it comes to the actual dodge anyway, because the stages are chosen based on the current difficulty that you are running in. So for example, take my case in here where I run at the expert level, which is the level 3, and all of the stages are basically at level 3. The maximum level that you can have is level 5 or the legendary difficulty and yeah, it is going to be a much much harder compared to this one though as in one simple mistake and then your run is basically over that kind of level <laughs> you'll see what i mean when uh, we are going into the legendary trophy at some point so yeah for context uh, every difficulty i said whatever it is the legendary trophies or legendary difficulty they are exactly the same i just want to tell you that because i oftentimes exchange those two words basically <laughs> And with that out of the way, there is nothing really that I wanted to talk about that is really exciting. So let's just watch the rest of the video with me and I will come back to you when there is something really interesting going on in this video. <laughs> Wait a minute, isn't this the second stage that I run in this particular video? And looking back to the recordings of this video, it turns out that is exactly the answer. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I didn't expect this stage will come back one day. But the thing is though, because it is much more competitive, that means that I cannot make any mistakes like I did in the first time I ran on this particular stage. <laughs> the part where I found to be really annoying while I play this particular game mode. See the fact that just before the time's up that I was in first place? Well, when I take a look at the result screen, turns out I was second. I was wondering how? How could I be suddenly in second place? How? Anyway, I finally managed to get promoted from the expert trophy into the conqueror trophy. And yeah, this is one final step before I enter the legendary trophy. And yeah, it will be a massive climb for this one. Let's just hope that I can cap all of these three hearts in intact shape and getting the one of the hardest objectives that this particular game offers, which is I have to arrive in legendary trophies having three hearts and then also I have to win a round in it while having the three hearts inside all of them and compounding things which makes it even more not so easy it is the stage where Star's Lulu Rookie is the playable rookie this is a stage that I never ever played before also do you remember that when I say that any small mistakes simply ends your particular gun yeah there you go <laughs> And that will not be the only time where I made a mistake. And yeah, that momentum really killed me. All the speed booster, and then suddenly I have none. And that basically messed up my movement. <laughs> oh, this is really bad. Especially the competition is really, really tight. Especially in stage 4, let alone stage 5 of the trophy survival. Yeah, this is bad, really really bad, and also the fact that I missed some of those yellow star jellies just after I finished touch noodle cookie scale, it doesn't make things easier though. <laughs> and it looks like I'm going to lose one of these hearts for the very first time, because the last time I saw just before the result screen here, I was in 4th place, so 
maybe I still at fourth place I guess and nope I was in fifth place and looks like from now on from the conquer trophy all the way to legendary trophy I need to be in the podium spot so I have to be at first second or third place oh boy this is going to be a very long video for this one <laughs> or maybe this is going to be a really short video because I just kept getting hit and then eventually I lost all of the three hearts. Well, let's see how far I could go before the inevitable happens where I lost all of the three hearts. And just to spice things up for this particular video, most likely the stages I'm repeating from now on are the stages that I have never ever run before. Such as this one, I run with Ponday no Koki on Serious 1 Cookies time and it looks like the challenge is to collect as many of these rainbow bell jellies as much as possible. <laughs> A brand new stage that I have never played before. This is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, game. I pressed that jump already. What in the world? Come on. wasn't supposed to happen oh come on oh come on this is real oh now i think i'm going to lose yet another heart for this one <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh my god uh <laughs> oh i'm still like two thirds of the way until i got the legendary trophy though oh this is really really bad because it was going so well up until that 10 final seconds <laughs> Ooh, ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> One heart left and we're still a long way to go. I think I need like, I don't know, five to six more rounds to actually get into the trophy that I want so bad, which is the legendary trophy. Well, I just hope that I will fight at another stage that I have been fighting before. <laughs> oh, Ooh, someone actually has got the cream choco cookie. And oh, we're fighting at a brand new stage. And despite the game would let like you believe that this stage is very difficult because it has five stars, I'm running with electric eel cookie just like with every other competitor. So this should be easy enough. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I really do hope that I did really well, despite the the game tells me that I'm in third place. <laughs> so let's just see the result, and hopefully I am in third place. <laughs> and woo, I did ended up in third place. Oh my god, that was really close to elimination. That was so close to see my trophies getting destroyed by purple jam cookie, and that would be the end of the video. <laughs> So yeah, can I please play in the previous stages that I did mistakes, so I can redeem myself to the viewer? <laughs> oh no, a brand new stage as well, but thankfully I'm running with Marble Bread Cookie, which should be easy enough. And the challenge is basically collecting as many berry series as possible. But thankfully, because I have Marble Bread Cookie in the maximum level, everything, including the treasure, so it should be easy enough. Yes, I really do hope that I should be in first place because I never miss a single thing. But because this is Marble Bread Cookies, I'm pretty sure the competition is very very close to each other. So let's just take a look at the result screen and woo, I'm in first, oh my god, the second and third use max books, oh my god, that is so close. <laughs> Well, I still have maybe two or three more matches that I need to win, or at the very least stay out of the 4th, 5th and 6th place to be able to reach the legendary trophy. So let's see where I ended up with, oh, oh half of the players are actually using max boost and oh no, oh no, out of all the stages that I wanted to redeem myself, really? I'm playing with orange cookie again, well, fine game, whatever. <laughs> that was a very close battle. Oh my god, the competition though. <laughs> this is the kind of competition that you should expect when you are reaching the Conqueror or even the Legendary Trophies. Yeah, let's see the results and oh my god, I'm in third again. Oh my god, so close to being eliminated. <laughs> right, one more match. If I manage to win or at least manage not to get eliminated then I will end up at the legendary trophy. Oh my god, this is such a dream. Come on, I have to win this one. Oh, it looks like I'm fighting at a stage where I previously lost one of my hearts. No, I don't need to take a break, starch noodle cookie.
So if I win this particular match, then I should be able to jump straight into the legendary trophy. So let's take a look at the results screen and I really do hope I'm beaten first by the way. Woo! I mean first! Woo! By 3 million points by quite a bit of a margin there. <laughs> That means I'm promoted into the legendary trophy, and not only that, I'm also getting one of my hearts back. That is a fantastic news indeed. is actually putting me in a stage that I have never ever run before. <laughs> oh come on, this stage? Really? Out of all the places? Oh god, this is really bad. I There's very few guidance and this life is the only one. Oh, I missed that. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, I missed that as well. <laughs> oh no, this is bad. This is really bad. Why? Oh, for god's sake. <laughs> Oh uh, no, just, just after I received that really good news of, about receiving my heart back. <laughs> um, I missed that as well, oh god. <laughs> oh man, really, this stage, I, am, I only have 20 seconds to recover from the mistakes that I did. <laughs> oh no, I changed to, oh no. <laughs> No, no, not the, not the part where I have to really jump twice, multiple times in order to restart the Fumi host skill, but it's too late now. I can't do anything, and oh god, <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> but for real though, I didn't expect that kind of combination to be loud. <laughs> And now I'm back at the massive problem once again <laughs> of having one heart. <laughs> and I still have what? Like, I don't know, five, no, seven, no, ten matches that I need to do in order to get the maximum amount of gold gems that I can have, which is 3,500. So yeah, there is one more thing that I want to say before I end the narration part of this video which is the scheduling for this particular channel. So, uh, coming after this is going to be a teamfight video with the guest that I'm actually talking about but I don't want to tease you which guest it is until I release the video. Well, I can give you a hint that this player is really good, so good in fact that he managed to win the highest level of competition in this particular game. And next up, after that, is the motorsport video, which I really do want to complete it because uh, I still have some of it left in my archives that haven't been published until this month, so I want to publish that. And while that is also happening, I also pre registered myself into a brand new game, and that is called the Tukiran Tower of Avengers. Well, I haven't played the beta, but I've seen how the gameplay works, and that makes me interested to check it out. And while that also is around, I might also do a cover on a playthrough on the Metro 2023 that I've released a couple of videos ago. So yeah, so there are many more to come on this channel within the next 6 months or so, all the way until the end of the year. And I didn't realize it until now that I've actually run on the exact same stage that I lost my, one of my hearts. <laughs> well, I do realize it immediately, but because I want to send that announcement, that got missed until the very end of that particular match. Anyway, I ended up in second, so let's see the result screen, and I really do hope I'm still at second. Oh no, I'm in third, and take a look at the gap between third and fourth place, that is quite a bit of a margin. And with that out of the way, I still need to win at least 9 or 10 matches in order to get the maximum amount, which is 3500 gold points, or whatever the currency is. 
and maybe now third time maybe that's the time and um, let's see the map that I'm getting it and oh electric eel cookie but the star is at level 5 which is it is going to be a really really exciting match to see <laughs> maybe I mean I only ended up in fifth and third place and the fifth place caused me to lose one of my really hard game hard and oh yes <laughs> first place for the very first time and the competition is really really tight too so one down and nine more to go so let's see if I run on the exact same stage or will I run on a completely different stage that I have never ever run before. Oh yeah, one really good thing that I really forgot to mention until now, it is the fast time that it takes for finding opponents. Usually in trophy race, especially on the higher ranks, it was a struggle to find opponents that have the same level of skill as you do. And that is actually still happens to this very day. Sometimes it could take up to one or even two minutes just to find opponents. Well, at least it isn't as bad as guild runs. Sometimes guild runs can take up to six minutes just to find opponents that have the same level of skill as you are. And speaking of guild runs, I've never actually put any kind of content about guild runs on this channel. So comment down below if I should upload contents of guild runs from now on considering the fact that we are approaching the post season and the next season shall arrive soon enough and by the way do not adjust this video because the game literally sent me to fight at the same stage three times already <laughs> and take a look at the gap between me and the first place it is impossible for me to catch up with the first place player well at least let's just hope that by the end of this i still manage to retain second or even third place i guess that the first place player managed to keep the woman version of kumiho cookie intact from start to finish and if someone can show me how it is possible to maintain the female version of Kumiho Kuki from start to finish, I would love to hear it. I mean, take a look at that, the difference 324 million compared to 395 million points. <laughs> well, at least I'm not getting eliminated, not this time though. Great, I'm fighting at a brand new stage again. <laughs> Although this time uh, it's all about optimization, I guess, because it's the Space Jonah cookie in the Cyborg cookie style, and I'm pretty sure this stage also appeared in the Island of Memories game mode. Oh my god, that game is so old. And to put into perspective just how old that particular game mode is, before I took the 4 year hiatus from this game, I was playing that game mode. <laughs> and when I finally came back after 4 years, it still didn't change. <laughs> Well, to be fair though, that sister actually said that they are not making any more episodes on the Islands of Memories 
and oh that's actually really bad i didn't realize that the skill actually activates faster before i can actually jump off the ledge <laughs> so yes uh, back to the topic uh, island of memories uh, death sister actually mentioned at one point that they are not going to make any more new episodes on island of memories because according to them those three episodes alone are very difficult to make <laughs> so that makes me wondering should i do an Allen of memories gaming content even though that game mode has been abandoned for the last i don't know four or five years at this point <laughs> or maybe even six actually <laughs> oh yes one down seven more to go i have to stay on this particular position for the next seven matches in order to make the legendary trophy full by the way are you still here viewers and if you are still staying here, then I will say thank you so much for enjoying this particular journey. I have no idea if Death Sister at one point decided to make this video into the community tab. And I don't think that this video will end up at the community tab because the length of the video is over 40 minutes long. <laughs> Usually they take videos that last less than 10 minutes. Usually they talk about cookie tiles or stuff like that. But hey, even my video that was actually ended up on the community tab, that was talking about cookie tiles as well. And that was talking about the cookie tiles on Butter's Creek Cookie, the hard mode, or as I would like to call it, the rainbow gang. Yeah, also this map, I never actually run at this map ever before until this one. <laughs> That's really bad, especially the competitors, they are really competitive. I couldn't shake them off. In fact, I'm actually in 4th, 5th at the moment. Oh my god. <laughs> Are they running a bit earlier than me? Or maybe they managed to find some things that I couldn't find, I guess? By the way, the situation is really dire at the moment. And oh, no, 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 no. Ah, looks like the journey is coming to an end. <laughs> Yeah, so thank you for everyone who actually managed to stay until this very point. I know the video is really really long and if you are still staying up until this point then I, I really do appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, that's it for me. I'm Alskroy Galcon, signing it off and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, stay safe and I'll catch you next time. See you on the battlefield of Coffee Survival. Bye for now everyone. Ah yes, it is always a sad sad ending to see your hard earned trophy being destroyed by purple yam cookie. <laughs> now I have to wait 23 hours to finally play this game mode again. <laughs> but still. It wasn't as bad as the life challenges <laughs> because that one was just ridiculous.